Let's get a little food in here. I feed uh, trout chow made by Aquamax. It's basically uh, farm fish food, pellet form. About the size, eh, a little bit bigger than a pea. And I just spread a little bit around every morning. Let's see what we got, see who comes out. Big side neck. Oh, here's a nice razorback musk. Muskies like to come up in shallow water. That's an old guy there. Big old side neck. Where's my soft shell at? Got a soft shell in here somewhere. She's shy. Some of them like to hang out behind that pipe over there. Where you at, soft shell? They know they're on film. They're getting scared. Oh, there's a soft shell. That's pancake. See if I can zoom in on her. Ah, she found food on the other side. They just come up and eat. And the water gets a little oily and a little weird on the top right after they get done eating, but it goes away. Oh, there's a big side neck coming out from under the rock. Cletus is just down here chilling. See if I can get that soft shell to come out. I'm sure you guys can hear I'm a little snotty today. Can't believe I haven't sneezed yet. Come on, softy. There we go. Oh, a little fast on the zoom. I love these things. Those things are built for swimming. Look at the powerful feet. All flipper. All the way up into the arm. I used to, uh, well I still do, go after them every once in a while, try to catch them. And man, these things can swim like a bat out of hell. I mean, one second they're there, the next second they're gone. Anyway, you can see this is a pretty big pond. A lot of turtles. The main thing about keeping turtles is filtration. You gotta have filters that can do the job, that can pull all the dirt and stuff that floats around and get it into the pre-filter so that you can clean that pre-filter once a week. I'll do a video on how we clean the pre-filters, but that's all I do. I top this pond off, add a little water to it once a week, clean the filter boxes once a week, and uh, that's it. And you can tell when the pond's ready because your water clarity will go down a little bit. You won't get a smell, at least I don't, but uh, you could in an aquarium. But you want your water clarity to be there. And that's how you know your pond's thriving. This pond's got a little bit of an amber color to it. It just, it's still cycling, believe it or not. It takes years for these to get dead on. I was heartbroken when I had to tear that other one down, but it was leaking and it was time to move up. Anyway, there's the uh, halides. These are metal halides. These are what you put over top of coral reef tanks or some type of a plant tank. Invertebrates and soft corals and stuff for growing. It's basically just like shooting sun straight down on them. I have a third one, I just haven't put it up yet. And uh, they are hot, but they're not providing them any heat. They're just making it feel like the sun shine in this room. You know, we're in my snake room, room number one. So it's pretty warm in here anyway. Old softy's out now. And then I got a little 55 set up over here, a little natural tank. And that's also got a pond filter in it. You can never have enough filtration. I say go bigger. Bigger than smaller. There's a 55 and that's got some muskies and some little maps and stuff swimming around in it. They're all hiding, they're all spooky, but 
It's basically set up as a musky tank. That's why I've got all the little rocks and caves and stuff down inside. But you can see that's pretty clear. Little African side neck basking. See what we can zoom out on before we call it. Old musky still hasn't moved off that rock. It's making mad. Oh yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Walker head. No, Razorback. Duh. There's Cletus. And you notice I've got my filters. Well, you don't notice, but I've got my pump shooting the water this way. So there is a small whirlpool just going right around and just circulating the water around so that the uh, filter boxes will kick up. We'll go out on this Florida red belly. Turtle pond out.